What's up everyone? So Street Fighter 6 is definitely coming out. We just had the announcement trailer come out a couple of days ago. It didn't show much. Obviously it was a pre-rendered teaser. Uh, say what you want about that, but the game is definitely coming. And honestly, being a Street Fighter 5 fan, I do have high hopes for 6 because generally I'd say over the past couple of years, Capcom's track record has been pretty good with their games. And I'm hoping that Street Fighter 6, when it comes out, is going to continue that trend because let's be honest with ourselves, Street Fighter 5 when it launched was an absolute mess. And it has come a long way. The game I think is in a really good state now, but Again, the initial launch didn't do Street Fighter V any favors, but that's a topic for another day. Today we are going to make predictions. Again, I know nothing's been announced for the game, we didn't see any gameplay or anything like that. Still, I thought it would be fun to go on a little speculation spree and sort of think about which of the characters from the current roster will be in who's going to be maybe DLC and who's going to get booted out of the game. Now this is how I set this tier list up. I have characters that are guaranteed to be in, characters that are very, very likely to be in, uh, characters who might be added as DLC maybe, and characters who are definitely going to be cut. All right, let's get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the guaranteed field uh, because that one is pretty easy and into there I'm going to put the following Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, Kami, Dalsim, Zangief and finally Luke. I mean these are I think the really obvious ones. Obviously Ryu through Zangief are the absolute classic Street Fighter characters uh, there's never been a Street Fighter game without a combination of these characters. I mean, Ryu is confirmed, Luke is confirmed, but I think Ken, Chun-Li, Kami, Dalsim and Zangief are absolutely guaranteed. I think only Street Fighter 3 didn't have some of these characters, uh, but I think with the nostalgia factor, Capcom definitely knows who their heavy hitters are and who are the most popular characters. I think they're gonna play off the nostalgia here and include these characters for sure. Okay, so with these guaranteed characters out of the way, the rest are up for grabs. So let's just go ahead and go in order here, starting with Abigail. Honestly, I think with the negativity initially surrounding this character, even though his reputation has improved, I think Abigail is not making it to Street Fighter 6. There's just like too much shit around this character. Uh, people absolutely hated his looks initially. Then he came out and he was super busted. So people hated him for that. He's been normalized a lot more, but I, I just don't think this character has any chance of making it. He's definitely a one and done. Alex is an interesting one because if we assume that Street Fighter 6 is going to be continuing Street Fighter 5's story and sort of transitioning towards Street Fighter 3, because if you don't know, Street Fighter lore video coming up here, Street Fighter 3 takes place at the end of the series in terms of timing. And that's why characters like M. Bison and stuff are not in there. So Alex plays a huge role in Street Fighter 3 and if we think about that, I think he is likely to make it in. He is likely. Blanca. Blanca is another one of these classic characters. I think a lot of these guys are going to get added as DLC. Vega, exactly the same thing. I think he's probably going to be added in DLC. I was hesitating with Vega whether he's going to be guaranteed. But with how the story went in Street Fighter V... Uh, with M. Bison dying. I'm not sure Vega is going to be a guarantee for the absolute main cast. Birdie. I think Birdie, I like him. He's one of my mains, but I don't think Birdie is making it. There, there are a couple of characters here who I think are definitely in the bust them out of the closet every couple of games uh, type characters. 
Uh, and I think Birdie fits in there. He's been in five. He was part of the main roster, but I don't think he's making it to six. Balrog, super popular classic character. However, well, now you know what? I think Balrog is going to be in. Yeah, yeah, he is. I mean, he has a pretty strong story connection to Ed and Falk and all that. So I think I think he's got a chance of making it in, which is good because I do like Balrog. Cody, Cody is an absolute fan favorite. If Capcom are going to be trying to make money off of this game, they're going to make Cody a DLC character. Uh, yeah, again, he, he's just super popular. He, I think he's too popular not to make it into the next game. Ed I, Ed, I think, is another one of those characters who will probably tie into the story somehow with him being the body double for or clone for M. Bison. He's pretty important. Whether he's liked or not, well, I think there's like mixed feelings on him. I don't mind this character, but he's definitely died down. I barely see anybody using him, but I think in terms of the story, he could have a role in it. Fung. As much as I like this character, and I think he's like really unique, both design-wise and gameplay-wise, I don't think he's making it into the next game. Uh, Fung is, if the statistics are correct, and I remember them correctly, literally the least used uh, Street Fighter V character online. So he barely sees any tournament play. Nobody's talking about Fung. Nobody's making tech for Fung. You can barely like even find uh, videos of him. Um, from like online matches yeah again as cool as i think the character is look wise and sort of everything is about him is super unique i don't think he's making it falk pretty much the same deal uh she's basically an even lamer version of ed in terms of character and personality ed is not the most interesting character in the world and falk is basically like an even more boring female version of him her unique trait being just that she's German. Uh, Gameplay-wise, she's interesting. I do like her. Uh, she's got good stuff, sort of this like zoning, almost dulcimer type deal, but nah, nah, I, I don't see her making it in. G though, I think is most likely, and G has been, I think, the breakout star, one of the breakout stars of Street Fighter V. He's super popular. He is really fun. A lot of players like him. If he is Q uh, from SF3, he has story ties. I think he's most likely going to be making it in. Akuma is an interesting one. He could go into either one of these categories. Uh, I'm going to take a guess and say he is most likely in. Uh, again, classic, super popular. A uh, ton of people play him. There's a lot of hype behind him. Capcom is really pushing him. Probably the character that's pu pushed most, maybe after Ryu. I mean, he's in Tekken 7. He's in a ton of other games as a guest character and all that shit. So I think Akuma is, is, is definitely making it. Guile, pretty much the same deal. I'm putting a lot of characters into this category, but... Again, judging by what Capcom learned, I think, in the past five years of Street Fighter, I think they learned where their strengths are and their strengths are with their classic characters. So I'm hoping that first of all, SF6 is going to have a bigger starting roster and that more of the classics are going to be included. Uh, Ibuki, I think Ibuki is going to be DLC. She has to make it in somehow because she's again, a mega popular character and with the Street Fighter 3 connection, uh, she's been in 4 as well. Again, just people really like her. Um, yeah, I like Ibuki as well. No problem with her making it in. Although I think she is going to be DLC. Jury. Now, this might be a little bit controversial, but I don't think they're going to be bringing Jury back. Uh, this was a character that was really hyped uh, back from Street Fighter 4. And I feel like her hype has kind of died down. She... Doesn't really get a lot of play. I mean, you can say what you want about the characters like tier placement, but I don't think she has as much hype behind her as she had back when they added her to Street Fighter V. So honestly, I think her chances of making it into the next game are pretty slim. Kage, 
Kage, I don't think Kage is making it in either. He is basically the evil Ryu of this game. Uh, they're gonna probably have this character archetype, but Kage, I don't know, he's a little bit lame, I think, and he just doesn't fit into the story or sort of the Street Fighter lore, I feel like, especially if they're moving the story forward. Again, I think there's going to be some sort of equivalent, maybe Evil Ryu or something, but Kage himself as a character, I don't think is coming back. Colleen, I think if Colleen is going to be added, she's going to be DLC. Um, fairly popular character. Obviously, again, she has some story connections, uh, but I do not think she's popular enough to be put into the game straight away. However, DLC, she, I think, is perfect for DLC. I think Karina as well. Uh, I don't see Karine making it into the main cast, but again, she's popular enough that a DLC of her would sell pretty well, I think. Uh, Laura, I don't see Laura making it. Yeah, just sorry. Uh, newcomer to Street Fighter V, but I think she's fairly popular, but... Uh, I just don't find her to be that interesting. She barely had any role in the story in SF5. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to bring her back. I think Sean does have a chance of making it. Uh, obviously, Sean isn't in SF5, but I think he's probably going to be in 6. Maybe, maybe. Menat is another one of these breakout stars from SF5, which is completely understandable because... I think she's a mega well-designed character, uh, probably one of the best newcomers in the entirety of Street Fighter V, one of the best original characters, and I think just because of that purely, she's going to be DLC. I mean, listen, Capcom know their stuff, uh, they know who to put as DLC, and I think Menat is going to be just that. Ah, Nekali, Nekali, poor Nekali. Uh, there was so much hype behind you and you turned out to be one of the most boring characters in the entirety of the game. Uh, the, the Nekali is definitely not making it. I think if there was ever a one and done character uh, that's going to come out of the whole Street Fighter V sort of arena, it's going to be Nekali. I don't think we'll be seeing a lot of him in the future. Uh, Design-wise, he's pretty cool, but it's just his gameplay is not interesting in the least and had no like role in the story either. He just showed up a couple of times for a fight. Yeah, I don't think they're bringing Nikali back. Nash as well, I think, is going to be taking a break. He is another one of these uh, bust him out every couple of years type character. Uh, he was fun in SF5. But, nah, I don't see, I just don't see him playing a role in the next game. Armika as well, exactly the same thing as Nash. I feel like this character was popular, fairly popular in the early days of SF5. She was really, really strong, uh, just completely busted, sort of like mix-up character. But her hype has sort of died down and there's not much buzz going on around Armika. And not even just because of that. But just because of her whole archetype, I don't think they're going to be bringing her back. This might be controversial as well, but I honestly don't see Rashid making it either. Uh, he Rashid is really, I think, a polarizing character. He was super powerful for so long. And there's kind of a little bit of negativity around him, even though I think the character's design is really original and really fun. Uh... He had his role in SF5. I think he played that role, but I don't think he's going to be coming back. I think they're going to probably bring him in uh, in a later game, but straight after SF5, I don't think he's going to be in. Sagat, I think Sagat is prime DLC material, and so is Sakura. Uh, these two are really fan favorites, uh, and I think they're going to be in somehow, some way. But whether they're going to be playing a main role in the story or be part of the main cast, I don't think so. Yurian, though, I think is most likely in. Uh, Yurian, just being Yurian, having his ties to Gil, and again, sort of just being the natural progression of where the story is moving. And again, I'm just going to say this again. I don't know if SF6 is going to continue 
straight after SF5? I'm assuming yes, because of Luke, uh, but you never know. But I think just because of that, Urian is going to be playing. Plus, he's still mega popular. A lot of people like him. Now, see, this might be controversial, or maybe not. I think M. Bison, at most, is going to be DLC. Uh, obviously, he is sort of in this category of Ryu, the Ryu Ken, Chun-Li, M. Bison. Like, they come hand in hand. However, he did die at the end of SF5, so... Obviously, fighting games, that doesn't mean jack shit, but I think they if they are bringing in M. Bison, they're going to be bringing him in as an added DLC. I don't see him sort of being a part of this main cast and having a role to play here. Zeku, I think Zeku was fun, but he is not coming back. Um, he's a really interesting character, obviously paying an homage to Strider, which is another Capcom game. Uh, People generally like him, but barely anybody plays him, mainly because he is really, really complicated. You basically have to learn two characters and know when to switch between the two to even have a chance of doing well with him. So I think he's another one of these. He was fun. We tried him out. We tried out this character archetype and sort of the switching mechanic, but I don't think he's going to be in. I do think there's probably going to be a character that will have his mechanic, i.e. the switching between two forms, because I do think that's an interesting sort of gameplay archetype. But uh, whether it's going to be Zeku himself, probably not. Gil. Now, Gil is an interesting one because I honestly think there is a chance that Gil is going to be the final boss of uh, SF6. Usually in recent Street Fighter games, bosses were included as characters, standard characters. So I think Gil is probably in. Unless they make him like a super crazy, mega powerful boss. I... Which can still happen, but I do see him being part of the main cast. E Honda. Uh, e Honda is going to be in as DLC. Yeah, you can't really have a Street Fighter game without E Honda. And even with SF5, I'm surprised it took them so long to implement E Honda because again he's part of the original cast so say what you want about that but I think E Honda again is prime DLC material <laughs> Lucia yeah we all know where Lucia is going I get what they wanted to do with her she is supposed to be like the Sukura version for Ken but she sucks, man. Like, not her character, but she really sucks in the game. Gameplay-wise, super underwhelming character. Uh, nobody plays her. Nobody's paid attention to what Lucia does, or what she's doing. Like, basically, since she came out, I feel like she never really had a presence. Uh, people messed around with her uh, the first few weeks she was out and then just completely forgot about it. Poison, yeah, Poison is DLC material. Absolute fan favorite, again. She's mega powerful in SF5, and I think she does have a chance of making it in as DLC. Seth is an interesting one, because if you would have asked me to make a list uh, for Street Fighter 4 moving to Street Fighter 5, I would have never said Seth would be in the next game. Uh, this doll unit zero thing is interesting. He's got a really unique design but i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that seth is probably not making it in probably gonna be proven wrong I listen we know nothing about street fighter 6 this whole entire list could be wrong but you know it's fun to guess dan on the other hand see i feel like the reason they're kind of buffing dan and actually moving him towards being an actual character instead of just a joke is because he will have some role to play. I think he's most likely to be in, which I don't mind because Dan is fun and funny. And I do really appreciate them trying to make him an actual viable character, which I think they really succeeded in. Uh, so maybe Dan will even have a role in the story. You never know. Rose, I think... I mean, Rose was fun. They put, they definitely put her in uh, to please fans in SF5. But I think as we transition to 6, I think Menat is going to be enough. I would have already said that Menat is a completely fine replacement for Rose. And 
Rose wasn't really needed in five either. Uh, but again, I think they put her in really just to uh, for a, for fan service. I mean, they're really, really outside of Luke, the last season of uh, SF5 with the characters was pure fan service. But just because of that, I don't think Rose is going to be coming back. Same thing with Akira. She is a fan service character from rival schools. Um, as good as she is, not many people play her. And honestly, just make a rival schools game, Capcom, a new one, and put Akira there. Uh, she's not going to be in SF6, uh, I think. And Oro, I think Oro will probably be in. He has, again, a role in the story, moving towards SF3. Oro is obviously from that game, uh, so I think he is very likely to be in the next game. And there you have it. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty happy with this list. I think this is likely. Obviously, everything here is going to depend on how many characters we have uh, with the game at launch. And honestly, again, I'm really hoping Capcom learned from the launch of SF5 and they're actually going to have a decent roster in place. And I think there's a lot to pick from with these characters. Obviously, the thing that this list cannot and doesn't account for are the new characters. We had what, like three, four new characters uh, in SF5? I mean, with the initial launch. I think there's probably going to be the same amount uh, for SF6. So obviously we're going to have some newcomers as well. But if they go with this list, I think we got a pretty good thing going here. Pretty solid. I do like a lot of these characters. And yeah, the rest is up to them. And we'll just have to wait and see. I'm really hoping they're not going to like keep cock teasing us with these 40 second pre-rendered trailers a lot longer. And we're actually going to see some gameplay or some semblance, even a cinematic trailer or something, not just a buff Ryu standing in front of Luke. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of... Hope you enjoyed this little discussion video on SF6. Gotta get used to saying that. Yeah, if you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe once again. Turn on post notifications and I will catch all of you next time. Goodbye.